Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today as you saw from my title is going to be which one is better for my hair in regards to pre-pool and detangling, getting ready for my complete wash day. But first and foremost, thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Guys, I am seeing you down in my numbers as they go up and in the comment sections. So I do appreciate you for that. Okay, let's get into the video. We are using two of my favorite rinse out conditioners today. One is gonna be the Suave Tropical Coconut one, which you can generally find anywhere from 79 cents up to maybe $1.50, and you can find it everywhere. So I don't need to put a link down below. Okay, and the other one is the Tresemme Boltony Expert line, and this one replaced the uh, Tresemme Naturals. I think I've reviewed this one on my channel before in a mix with my Ayurvedic butters. Both of them I love for rinsing out my henna treatments. When I do a full henna, either one of these works beautifully for getting the henna off of my strands and off of my scalp. Okay, so starting off to begin with, on my scalp will be one of my Ayurvedic oils. Look how rich that is. Doesn't that look good? In this one, there is coffee, nettle, the Nepur henna blend, aloe vera powder, fenugreek, rosemary, and essential oil of peppermint. So I'm going to put this on my scalp as I go ahead. And I'm going to be using the Coconut Suave on this side and the Tresemme Botanique on this side. Start off with a little bit of oil on my scalp. Massage it in. Now this oil, because of the coffee in it and the henna in it, is very, very good for cutting down on your shedding. And it also works as an excellent growth oil. So guys, if you would like to see me make the coffee oil when this batch is up, just hit me up in the description box down below. It's essentially just taking whatever your strongest coffee is. I think mine was a French roast. And just adding it into my blend of Ayurvedic herbs and letting it soak in your favorite penetrating oils. Strain it out with a cheesecloth or, or a stocking and you're good to go. All right, that's some of the oil into my hair. Let me separate these two sections back off. All right, and it does not have an overwhelming smell of coffee. But if you're like me and you love your java juice, you're not going to mind the smell at all. Okay, my hair is not overly tangled. My hair is actually very well moisturized and has been for a full week since I washed it the last time. But being more consistent this year means it's time for wash day. It's time for wash day. Okay, so starting off with this side is the Tresemme side. Now this is the Tresemme Botanique Nourishing and Replenish with coconut milk and aloe vera. This one, I'll list the ingredients down below for both of these conditioners. Now this one is a full 25 ounces, and I think I got this one at Dollar General for $4.99, so bang for the buck. All right, let's get it open. It's a brand new bottle. I have four of them in the stash. Okay, and this one comes out already nice and thick and creamy. That should be more than enough for this section, way more than I need. And you can feel the water content in it. I'm not going to use any combs or brushes in this step, y'all. And I did not spray any water in my hair, but you can. I have a spray bottle next to me. Get it on your ends. And this works wonderful as a pre-poo. Pre I've never used the Suave conditioner as a pre-poo, only as a rinse out for my henna. Separate a little bit more. I am going to add a little water to this. My hair is dry. Not dry in the sense that I don't have any moisture, but dry that I didn't spritz it with the water. And as it, with all my products, it sits on the top first until I apply heat to it. So I'm going to separate this section. Flip it up. Mm -mm, no, I need my other type of clips. <clears throat> there. Okay. Put a little water on it. And 
soon as you apply the water to it, it adds a little bit more slip to it. And the strand head sketch, <laughs> the, the shed hair slide right out. And it's just a couple of them on my hands. I don't think you can really see them, but that's all that's on there. Turn it up. Okay. And then as I get the section done, twist it up. And you can use a detangling brush or a comb with this. I've done it with both of them, and I love it. I might go get the detangling brush just so you can see how easy it runs through. Okay, guys, I went and got my Felicia Leatherwood brush, so let me get another section down. And I'm not going to do huge sections. I never do. The smaller my sections are, the less breakage I have. So that's what I have been doing. If it works, take your time and do it. All right, little finger dangling, detangling first. I'll spray a little water on it. And as you can see, I do have some definition with the Tresemme. Once we're through, Felicia, start at the ends, nice and gentle, just in case there is a snag going on. And guys, I did trim my hair about a week or so ago, and I took off a clean inch, maybe inch and a half, all over my head. I did not care. And look how easy that slides right through my hair. Now, if my ends were still raggedy, I would hear snap, crackle, pop as hair breaks off into this brush. But nope, not happening. Dead hair gone bye-bye. And easily twist that up. I'm not going to twist it too tight because I am going to be washing my hair in these. And these probably going to be in overnight with this pre clean. <clears throat> okay. Last section or portion of that section of the water. And in this little spritzy bottle is water and aloe vera juice. I usually use it when I'm putting my leave in conditioner in as part as my L in my LCO. Same thing on this section, start at the ends, slowly work my way up. And I don't have gloves on this time because I wanted to feel how my hair is doing after the trim. This is my first wash day since I trimmed my ends. And so far, so good. Go to the back so I can get closer to my roots. Yep. And that is it for this section. Okay, stay tuned guys. I'm going to move over to the other side with the Suave Tropical Coconut. On this one. but again I'll put the ingredients for this one down below as well I do like both of them though they and they're actually manufactured by Ulever so they're the same manufacturers for these I already put the oil on my scalp I'm gonna put a little bit of the aloe and water juice on first spritz it through just to get a little hit of moisture before I start okay. right, let's see the consistency on this one Consistency is about the same. They're both very, very thick. And far as the smell goes for both of them, coconut. This one has more of a clean coconut smell. Let's see what the Tresemme. The Tresemme, if you can describe it, has a coconut, like a coconut cream smell. This one has clean, tropical <laughs> coconut, like Vacation coconut smell, pina colada almost, without the pineapple, of course, okay? Both of them, very, very creamy. Water, you can feel it as it goes on. This one seems to go on for me a little bit thicker than the Tresemme. A little bit thicker for the Tresemme than the Tresemme, okay? Yeah, that one feels thicker on my hair. Okay, I'm going to separate a section out. Pin it up at the top. Yeah, this one seems to be a little bit thicker than the Tresemme. Almost the same, but the Tresemme seems like it might have a little bit more water content in it. But as you can see, still works good to detangle my hair. And look at that bounce back, guys. Look at that bounce back. If I stay on top of my trims, I might get past my collarbone this year. 
<laughs> stop playing around with my hair. Be gentle and keep it pushing. Otherwise, I'm ready to cut, guys. I'm ready to cut, but I'm hanging in there. This is going to be the year that I'm going to reach my goals, maintain, and keep my length. I'm speaking it up, Lord. I'm speaking it up, Lord. This is the year of length retention for me. Consistency and length retention. Can I get an amen? Amen. All right, guys, that's that one. Now, this one, I can tell absolutely that there's more water in the Tresemme. There's more water in the Tresemme. How do I can tell that? I used about the same amount, but there's less residue from this one, whereas the Tresemme had more, more product, more slip to it to me. That's it. Had more slip from the Tresemme for me. But they both feel real good. My hair has absorbed both of them very, very well. <clears throat> okay. Same thing, light finger detangle first. And I actually think, guys, when I did my trim, I took off a little bit too much on that side. But that's okay. I don't wear my hair straight, so it's all right. Now, when I get to my roots, I have to hold it closer to my palm. Otherwise, I tend to catch the other section and might snag my hair. But everything went through just fine. Twist that section up. All right, guys, I am going to zip through my head using the perspective conditioners on each side. The suave coconut on this side, the tresemme on the other. And I will be back after I have completed my whole head or when I get to the very front so you can see how it performs on my uh, low porosity front area of my head. That could be a whole new disaster going on. So I'll be back when I get to those portions in the front. Look at that. That's the Tresemme side. You can still see some of the residue on that side. But as far as absorption, the tropical coconuts seem to absorb a whole lot better. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I've made it to the front of my head. Aloe vera juice and water, spritz in the front. And look at that, guys. It's time for my henna treatment. I did my henna treatment at the end of November. Look at that. It is time for a henna treatment. So that'll be in an upcoming video. I think I'm going to try going in for the more brown tones. So that will be a mix of the henna with indigo. Okay. A little bit of finger detangling with just the water. All right. This is the Tresemme side. Now, this is my low porosity. Low, low, low porosity front parts of my hair. So let's see what happens. Big gob of the Tresemme. Put it on my ends first. That's where the breakage happens first. So put the moisture there first. And smooth it into the rest. Smooth it in. Now even before I even start brushing or detangling this seriously, I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to go ahead on and spray this side and add the suave to it. But as you see, it's still sitting on the top, as always in the front. Always in the front, sitting on the top. But yeah, the Tresemme has more water content in it. And I'm collecting the shed hair, guys. So I'm making little balls, and I'm going to share which side had more, or if they're about the same at the end of the video. Okay, take this side down. Spritz. Now, in my aloe and water mix, water is the majority of my mix because aloe vera, when I use it, cannot be the leading ingredient. Okay, but you do see my hair puffing up because it has product on it. Okay. Suave. A heaping amount of it. Okay. Ends first. And work it in. Work it in. Work it in. Alright. Yeah, that smells like vacation coconut. I believe. It smells like coconut cream. Okay. Let that sit. Look at the clumps, guys. But that's from the twist that was in. 
okay now you can see this side has the poof going on because it's got more water content on it right now and this one will start to lift as it absorbs some of it okay all right separate it into two sections put it out the way and i guess i should have wiped the rest of that swab off my hands but i did you guys okay and my hair is already absorbing some of the moisture because it's easily coming apart. Felicia up and start at the end. Nice pick and slide. Slide. Kick it. Slide. And look how fast that goes, guys. Look how fast that goes. Wonderful. Trust me. So I guess if I'm not recording, I probably can detangle my whole head nice and easy within 20 minutes time. But I never take 20 minutes. I generally binge watch on This Is Us, The Witcher on Netflix, something while I'm detangling my hair now. No no rushing. Even if I'm tired, I will sit there for a whole hour detangling my hair so I don't snatch out any hair unnecessarily. Okay, that's Tresemme. Move that down. And the other side is getting a little puff to it. Hmm. So it is absorbing some. That's good. Picking up moisture better. Okay. Didn't do too bad on my low porosity areas. And I'll tell you guys a little secret. <laughs> my last wash day when I did my deep conditioner, I put a teaspoon of baking soda in my deep conditioner along with some glycerin and some oil and used that as my deep conditioner. So that is probably why my low porosity area is picking up a little bit better on moisture this week. My moisture held all week long. Am I going to use the baking soda every week? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But maybe once a month may be an option. I'll see how the next couple of weeks go with my hair to see if I need to do it again come February. All right. Back to the side of the suave. The suave has slipped. But not as, as much water slip as the Tresemme. It feels thicker on my strands. I forgot to put my oil on my scalp on these two. But I'll do that after. Okay. Light finger. It still allows me to separate easier. Just as easy as the Tresemme. Just as easy as the Tresemme. And the detangle is just as easy. And then my low porosity areas, I tend to have way more product sitting on top and build up. So we'll definitely have to undo this, these sections when it's time to wash. Because I cannot have product build up. Definitely not on the front part of my hair. So all of this has to be washed out, be it with a shampoo bar or one of my shampoos. It's probably going to be a shampoo bar. Okay. Last section, guys. Work it through a little bit because I still got some clumps. Separate them. Definitely getting more definition in the front. Okay. Felicia on the ends. And pull it through. Now the Tresemme has more water content. And as you guys can see already, the difference in the absorption of my hair in the front versus my hair in the back. So my hair in the back and in my crown is more along the lines of low normal, whereas the front is straight up low porosity. No if, no ands, no buts about it, guys. Because look at the residue. Okay, now, <clears throat> that is the last twist on this. This is the suave on this side. Again, tresemme on this side. Okay, pull it out the home. Go out to the brush to see how much shed hair we had. I'm gonna turn around in the back. So you guys can see. Get back up. 
with my hair. That'll cause any problems here. Dropping all type of stuff. Turn on his back. Swab side. Tresemme side. Okay, guys, I got the balls of hair in my hands. Let me show you. Okay. Now, this one is the Tresemme side. No, 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 the Suave side. This one is the Suave hair. That's the Suave. Okay. Now, the Tresemme side is this little bitty ball. Is the Tresemme side. That's the Tresemme side. So when you put them both, both together, I'm going to show you the rest of it over there in a minute because on the first two sections, I did not separate out the hair. I forgot to do it. Okay, so when you're holding them up, let's see if I can get it. This little bitty one, that is the Tresemme side. This side over here is the Suave side. And I'm going to attribute that to the water content that's in the Tresemme. It gives me a little bit more glide. Even though, to me, the Suave absorbs better into my hair, the Tresemme has more slip for my hair. Okay? And the combined ball of hair from the back section is about the same size of them two put together. So all together for this detangle, that is all the hair that I lost. So not bad guys, not bad at all. So if you had a choice between the Suave or the Tresemme, either one of them would work just fine for you to detangle your hair. For my hair, this one absorbs a little bit better but this one has more glide and more slip as I'm detangling my hair because it seems to have more water in it. This is my video comparing the Suave Coca, Tropical Coconut versus the Tresemme Botanique Coconut Milk and Aloe. I like them both. They both do the job. That is the end of this video. If you've used either one of these, hit me down below to let me know which one is your favorite, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, guys.